this is the solution to written homework 56. Okay. <clears throat> so for part A, we know that the slope of the secant line is given by m is on that on that interval will be f of b minus f of 1 over b minus 1 <clears throat> and we want this m to be equal to two and a half. Okay. So that means we need to solve the equation. Two point five is equal to <coughs> is equal to um, well b squared minus 3b minus 4 and then minus if we plug in 1 to f that'd be 1 minus 3 that's negative 2 uh, minus 4 is negative negative 6 so that'd be minus negative 6 then over b minus 1 <coughs> Two and a half is b squared minus three b minus four and then minus negative six, so that's be negative four plus six, so that'd be plus two. <coughs> Over b minus one. So then two and a half is equal to, well, just that numerator factor. Can you think of two numbers whose product is negative two, uh, positive two, and whose sum is negative three? So how about um, b minus one multiplied by b minus two, and then this divided by b minus one? <coughs> Well, we can cancel these. <clears throat> it's possible to cancel. Because the problem statement problem statement indicates that b is not 1. b couldn't possibly be, be 1 because then this wouldn't be an interval and it couldn't be a secant, uh, secant line. So we can cancel those. So 2 and a half is equal to b minus 2. So then we can add two to both sides. So four and a half is B. Okay. So then for for part B on the plot. Okay. So from one to four and a half. Okay. Well this is one. That's one of the points. And four and a half. So this is one, two, three, four and a half. Hmm. 
so that's the other point. And the secant line looks like 